there's a lot of noises out there. There's a lot of people that have their opinions about what I do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just have to like get it out and just do what I want to do, no matter what other people say. I love critiques, but I also like to sift through them and take from it what I think should change within my work. Mm -hmm. right, beautiful. We'll come back to that <laughs> in a minute. Um, so then, how much? Uh, how do you use research and storytelling to influence and inspire your work? All my work starts with research or me being obsessed with something. For example, that black dress right there. Started out when when I was at Parsons, um, in one of the buildings. There's like this big mural of um, our Walker's work, and I would pass by it all the time when I'm going to class. And I'm like, who is this artist? I need to know like what is this about. And once I researched her and I researched like what she was about, and I was like, I like this. I like where that's going. That was my first time really. Um, being exposed to art like that. That was around 2015. And I wanted to explore more about how she did her work, but within the sense of fashion. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, okay. Um, so along with that, because you talk a little bit about fashion, like just now, uh, I happen to know that you resist titles. <laughs> Do you want to talk a little bit about what that's about and why? I resist titles because I feel like it puts me in a box. I don't like being in a box at all. If I want to get up and do fashion, then I'll do fashion. But if I want to get up and be an artist, I'll be an artist. I don't want to feel like I'm restricted to one thing. It just feels like my creativity is locked. And I just like to be fluid no matter what area I'm doing. I just I have to have that that freedom. Mm -hmm. Or else I'm just like, I can't do this. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Um, and to sort of open up the conversation a little bit, bringing it back to uh, your audience or who you have in mind, I know that you had, um, so in your history, you have these conversations with your family. Mm -hmm. The women in your life and then the men in your life. And I'm curious as to what, like, putting your work forward, who, who is your audience? Who are you talking to? Who are you in conversation with? Well, in the beginning, when I did my thesis, I was really trying to figure out what I wanted to showcase, what route I wanted to, to go. And it took me, I think, three to four months to be like, I don't want to do a collection. I want to actually focus on creating something that could be put in a space and people could look at it and start asking questions about why is this here? You know, just really engaging with the garment and not just looking at it like, oh, it's pretty. So, oh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> what was the question? It's okay. I'm, I'm talking about, we're talking about the um, uh, conversation with regards to like the who you you're in conversation specifically like for instance black women like what <laughs> okay so as i'm doing my thesis it was very i didn't understand where i wanted to go but then i you know relaxed and i thought about it. i'm like wait i'm black woman why don't i just start from there and that's when i really was really went into research on american slavery and just like slavery as a whole mm -hmm. like i wanted to start from like the beginning like what it means to be a black woman like look at the past and then bring it into the future and to see if those things that happened in the past is, like, is affecting us today and as i'm doing my research i realized it was one-sided because all the answers were coming from me and i 